Ein hei omut beiz, ein hei omut beiz, ein hei omut beiz. Let's recap and go back to Ela milsa achris aikav inayu. Yeah, that's the line starts with the word and then tal shlum eshloisho, and then the line says, then the words are Ela milsa achris aikav inayu. There is a different machlokes between them, between Tanakam and Sumchut. The shears leinu nishmas of imayu menachem menakiva. And Nishma Sus was Sholem, Lil Nishma Sobas Moshe, Lofuas, it could be an estofuma. Lofuas, Enoch Lionel Ben, Yulia Ria. Bring your moon there. Ben Matal. Shmuel Avram Ben Yehudis. Sora Bas Nahoma. The Sosha Holy Soil. Ella. We said in the previous uh, lines, in this Omud, we said that there was a case of, we're going to re relearn the case, we're going to relearn the case, and we may write it on the whiteboard as well. Ah, and, okay, and basically, the case is going to take a new form now. I'm not going to mention the old form because we mentioned it already, you can go online and see it again. There is another difference, another kind of brisa here, which is a machloikis between Sumchus and Tanakama. Kegoin, the story is as follows. Before I start, let's give a, let's remember what we're talking about. Bezos Hashem, we'll be able to learn well, remember everything that we forgot. Um, you remember, people, before, before I start reading, that Rav holds that if a person is moide beknas, if a person says, I was wrong, I did the wrong thing financially, I stole v'chule v'chule, I poked the eye of my eved, everybody knows that moide beknas potur. The one who admits the knas doesn't have to pay the knas. That's not just Rav, that's everybody. Rav says that even if Edim came afterwards, let's say on Sunday he admitted, and on Wednesday Edim came and affirmed that yes, he did steal, says Rav at that point still doesn't make a difference. He's still exempt, he's still potur, we still say, He's a good boy, yeah? Now, however, we came with a new piece of information from Rabbi Yochanan and before him, Rabbi Mnuna, and they said that there are two levels of Oido. If you remember that, you remember everything. There's Oido, which I call class one, and there's class, class A and class B. If you're Moide that you stole, then you say, oh, I owe you the Keren. I have to pay the, the, the capital, the basic payment, and the Kethel, the double, I don't have to pay what do you mean I don't have to pay? Because Chachomim say he's exempt. Chachomim says Potter, or the Torah says that actually it's from Torah. However, if I come and I say, that was class A. Class B is a Oido, which he says, in which he says, I, everybody knows I'm a thief. That's already old news that we know from Adin. Now he comes clean and he says, I shechted. When you say I shechted, you're not mechaiv yourself anything. You're not obligating yourself in anything. You're not making yourself pay or incriminating yourself. The only saying, I shechted, therefore, we know you're potter. Sancho Ido is good, and you don't have to pay. Remember that, because I'm not sure it was clear last week. Sancho Ido, as if it stands as of itself, it's good. You will not have to pay the four and five, meaning the extra two or three. Yeah. However, if Adim came, if Adim came later, then you will have to pay. Because your Ido is a class B Ido, your Moide, but then Ido, you're a bit of a chicken. You're not really a man. You're not coming to say, I have to pay something. You're just saying, I did this and that, and therefore, at the end of the day, you don't have to pay. Such a do, if afterwards was backed by Adim, we say, oh, we follow the Adim, and you'd have to pay the two and three. This is what Rabbi Yochanan said. That's actually not even so new. That's what we said on Thursday. <laughs> what? In, in case A, which should mean according to what we said. If he said, if we knew already that he stole, and all he says, I slaughtered, that big video, I slaughtered, means what? That you don't have to pay, right? If Adim, you're not mechaiv yourself, you're not making yourself incriminated in any way, but this particular ado, right? And therefore, when you do that, what do we say? If afterwards Adim came, you have to pay. Like Shmuel said. Okay. Let's see now. There is, I think, more depth to it, which I may get to later. But for now, let's just get the case. Let's un, yeah, reveal the, the, the screen. El milsa chisi Here comes the story. The also beitrei 
two people came to Mr. 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 Someone. Amrile, they told him, Ganavta, you stole. Adim number one, remember group number one, they said you stole. Yeah, okay. Amar Lehu, in true, Ganavti, Vetavachti, Umochalti. So he's saying three things. First of all, he says, I stole. Yeah, you're right, I stole. I also, I'm confessing even more than you guys are saying. I slaughtered or sold on. That's another confession. Umiu, however, I did not steal in front of you guys. You guys are truthful and liars at the same time. In other words, it's true that I did it. What it I was going with. Yeah. So when he says Gneva, let's analyze. When he says Gneva, is that called Oido? No. It's not Oido because they said it before him. When the Edim come to Beisdin, and that's one of the Chidushim of the Brisa, even though those, those Edim at the end of the day are going to be false people, but you're not, they, you are, I said in English when I redid the, the tablet yesterday, the chart yesterday in the tablet, it was prompted by the Edim. It wasn't exactly your initiative that you came. Rashi says you're also scared of the Edim. The Edim came. And they said, you stole. And you said, yes, 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 I stole. However, the second part was your own hoido. What did you say? You said, I slaughtered and I sold on. That's the second confession. But he says, but you guys were not there. You guys are still liars. You happen to know half the truth. You're just yachne yentes. We're not really there. That's the end of the first part. Part two. By the way, if you need a chart, I'll make one. So far, if it's good, no. The IT Sahadi came a second group of Aidim, the Azminhu. They were Mazim, the first ones. The Lodapa Yugonav, he did not steal in front of them. The first people said, you stole. You stole in Bechemish last Sunday. Comes the second group, classical. And they said, no, last Sunday, you're not in Bechemish, nowhere near Bechemish. You were in Eilat. And therefore, have you heard of Eilat? And therefore, you are not even with him. And they're believed. So now the first group, they have to pay Kefel to the thief. That's for sure, right? And he, by the way, has to pay Kefel in his return. In, in return, he has to pay the Bailim Kefel. But uh, let's leave him alone. Let's leave him for now. The Edim are false, as of themselves. They have to pay him Kefel. Because they lie. The they were not in the Chemish that time. Third group. Third group. The Aisi Balabais, Sahadi. Balabais, who is against him. Balabais is the one who, the plaintiff, the one claiming against him. What Aisi he brought. He brought Edim. Vasidu Bey, the Gon of the Tova Adim came, the third group came, and that's the end of the story. And they said, oh, yeah, he stole last week in Bechemish, and he stole, and he slaughtered, and he slaughtered, da, 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 da. The whole thing they're made. Okay. So now comes Mechlokas Rabbanon and Sumchus. It's not that complicated. Again, first of all, Adim came, and they said, you stole, right? And then he said, yes, I stole, and I also shechted. Now, those Adim were Muzam. The first one are chucked off the chessboard. They are just Mezoimimim. However, a third group came and said, yes, everything you said is right. So now we have a hoido. He confessed, right? And later on came the third group, ignore the second ones, they're just mazim the first ones. Came the third group and attested that everything he said was right. So we have Kilo, a classical case of what? Of hoido, followed by edus, by testimony. Aha. Comes Mechlokas Rabbonon and Sumchus. What's a Mechlokas? But does Tvicha Kamiflegi, they argue about the Hoido of the Tvicha, which means, let me pause for a second. I made a chart yesterday. I don't know already what I sent you, what I didn't send you. Today I'll send you Bezos Hashem a very nice chart, and you should get it now already. Have in your mind two columns, Kefel and Dalad Vehe for Tvicha Mechira. Regarding the Kefel, of course, he has to pay Kefel. Why? When he, he was Moida after the Edim came. His oida wasn't exactly my prized oida. What? <laughs> That's a chiddush. Because we know that at the time they were believed, they didn't believe them. They were grilled. They were tested. They looked like the best edim in the world, and they even had white beards and big kippot. Yeah, aha, uh-huh, joking. And then what? <laughs> and, then, and then we say that at that point his oida is gurnished mit nicht. Plus the fact, Moshe, that at the end of the day, at the end of the day. Other Adim came and said that really he stole. So they said Kefal. So you have Adim without prior Hoido when it comes to Kefal. Because this Hoido is not even class B, it's class C, it's class zero. However, Tvicho Mechira is a question. Tvicho Mechira is a Shaila. The Tvicho Mechira originally 
was a good oido. The first, first Edim, what did they say the first people of Bereshit borrow? Gonavto. They did not say Tvicho Mechira. Tvicho Mechira came, he came clean, he came honest, he initiated it, and he had no idea the other Edim are going to come, right? So he's a nice boy, he did Hoido, but this Hoido is class B Hoido. Why? Because at the end of the day, we know he's told. So now, if the Hoido is only about Tvicho Mechira, that Hoido, only Tvicho Mechira is what? Is Hoido class B. Because that Hoido is not Mechaiv you anything. The careful you have to pay anyways. The careful is out of the store. Everybody knows you're going to, or so we thought at the end, and we'll know at the end. The fact is, the gun of from the beginning till the end, at Lamais is a gun. If you look at the whole picture, the Tvicho Mechira was his coming like a man coming clean. Oh, very nice. But then Hoido is not a door that makes you pay anything. Ah, and that's the Mechloikas, uh, the Rabonon Savri, Rabonon thing. Afal Gav Doido de Gneva Machmas Edim Hu de Kamoide. Even though, as I just told you now, the Hoidov Gneva is false, zero, X, nothing, nada, because he's only Moide, because our Adim there, who seem very confident and who based in believes. So that's why Moide, thank you very much for your Hoido. That's not even a question. However, Hoido de Tvicha, Hoido de Tvicha, Hoidoi Upotu, Hoido de Tvicha, that's a real Hoido. The Hoido came clean, Mitzido. He initiated the Hoido of the Tvicha. Nobody prompted him. He didn't know the other Edim are going to come, the third ones. He was Moide. What a good boy. Ah, lovely man. He's Moide. And therefore, he's Potter, even though Edim came later on. Meaning, even though it's a class B Hoido, the, the Edim later on don't make a difference and he's still Potter. And that's unlike what we said till now. Up until now, we spoke to Rabbi Yochanan and Rabbi Mnuna. They said, no. That a class B Hoido, we're not really mechaiv yourself or anything. The door doesn't make you fork any money, fork out the money. It's a good Hoido unless Adim come. And here Adim came. Yet Rabbanon say, he remains potter. So that's exactly what we're trying to say, Tanoi. We want you to say that that statement of Rabbi Yochanan is up to Mechlok is Tanoi. The Sumchus. If you remember from last year, Sumchus made a very strange statement. <laughs> Sumchus said, yeah, <coughs> we're going to read Sumchus now. And again, the Sumchus Sova, what did Sumchus think? Kevin Doido de Gneva Machmas Edimhu de Ka Moide. Because the Doido of the Gneva came, why? Because of the Edim. When he said, Yes, I stole, <laughs> you're only confirming, you're basically, <laughs> you're basically following what the Edim said. That's not a Doido. And really, we know that you stole because of the Edim. So we thought at the beginning, happens to be also at the end. We know you're a thief, anyways. Therefore, the Tvicha Lav Hoido. Therefore, even though when he came to Tvicha, a very nice man, you might on Tvicha, and it's worth something, but it's not a Ido since later Adim came. Since Adim number three came to the scene, so basically you have a class B Hoido, Hoido that doesn't make you pay anything, followed by Adim. Sumchus is a friend of the Tana, is a Siwa, is endorsing Rabbi Yochanan, that says that Hoido is not a good Hoido if Adim came later on, and that's exactly the case. So therefore, what's going to be according to Sumchus? The Hanach Edim. So now, let's say the final verdict according to Sumchus, and he will repeat everything. Hanach Edim Kamoi Daz Minu. Remember the Edim Zomimim? Yeah? So the first Edim were Muzam. The Shalmin Tashlume Kefel. They have to pay Kefel, right? In other words, he, he owes Kefel to the owner, but he doesn't really have to pay it because the Edim will pay it to him. That's really funny. In other words, we know he stole. That's for sure. Everybody knows he knows he stole because of Adim, because at the end they were real Adim without Edo. So he owes Kefel, but also there were Adim Zemimim who owe him Kefel because Lamai said they lied. Lamai said they lied. Yeah, well, we're going to deal with that later, but at the moment we think they're liars. Yes, they are. <laughs> so they have to pay Kefel. Happens to be Min Hatsad, he also happens, yes, to steal. He didn't steal on Sunday, like they said, they were in Elat, he stole on Monday. Yeah. But Lemaise, he did steal. They lied to him. So make a Shibuddha Dorab Nason kind of thing. And the Edim Zemimim will pay straight to the owner, Kefel, because he owes the Bailim and they owe him. Oh, the who on second. The who now comes to Umchus. And by the way, this is agreed upon by Chachomim also. Everybody agrees to that. Kefel is paid. And the Zemimim or Zemimim, that's not a question. There's no argument here about the Gneva. The who Mishalim Shloshel Pavishnaim Le'ail, who argument between Sumchus and Chachomim. Why? Sumchus says, listen, mister. 
not exactly. Actually, the other way. I like what you said, but not in this context, because precisely because the first floor was built by Adim, your hoido of Shloisha, your second floor is a class B hoido. We know already you're a thief. So all the comments say, oh, I slaughtered the animal because my mommy didn't love me. Oh, very nice, you slaughtered. What a moving confession. And it would be a good confession, but since at the end of the day, this video is not making you pay anything extra, right? The double you pay anyways. So those three, you, you're not, you're ending up not paying a thing because you moid the knas on a knas, it's only a knas with no payment. That statement alone, I shechted after we know you're a thief, is not mechaiv you, is not incriminating you, you're not coming like a man, you're coming like a half. Me mainly what we say since Adim came later, this is a good old statement, moide beknas, but shalom mechaiv is atzmoi, ubo Adim, later on came the third group and said, you chaiv, says Sumchus, you gotta pay, baby, because your hoido, which is not a greatest hoido, followed by Adim, that's exactly, we're happy with Sumchus, you guys should be happy, I'm looking at him like that. Sumchus is our man. Tumchus basically says what we've been saying for the past uh, almost and a half, yeah? Rabbonin are the ones who say no. Rabbonin say you're still potter. That's what we want to say. I'll repeat it soon, but basically we're saying that what we said yesterday, uh, last week, Shem Rabbi Yochanan is really up to Mechlok Estanoim. Tumchus holds of what we say, of what we say, and Chachamim don't. That's not such a great place to be in, because we're in the minority. Tumchus is one man and Chachamim are many. I'll repeat again, even without going into all the details. Basically, what we're saying is like this. Leave the Zomim alone, alone because the Zomim thinks it's confusing. The, 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 let's get to the salient point here. The person was moide, hoido, that does not obligate him, right? He learned to in yeshiva. It's not stupid. He's a part of his graduate that done it. Believe me, there are such, yeah? Or not part of his. I shouldn't say names. Any yeshiva, whatever. Please. <laughs> yeshivas. Now, this guy knows the moide beknas potter. Yes. So he's coming and he's confessing, which is kind of nice. And what? But he knows he's not going to pay anything, right? Because he, so he does not going to make him pay anything. So when the third group of Edim came and said, you stole and you, and you shechted, now, Chachamim say, well, he's still good Oido, he's a good boy, he's Moide. So even though Edim came and said the same, we still follow what he said, and therefore he doesn't have to pay the extra two or three. He only pays Kefal. And Sumchu says, no, uh, that Oido would be good, but that Oido followed by Edim, uh -uh. You gotta pay because your dog is not a super duper five star dog. So if Aiden came afterwards, you gotta pay. That's the crux of the matter. You've been, oh no, he was, no, he was before you came to the room. It was like, okay. Right. Rabbi. Uh, there's another question being asked. Sorry. I'll listen to you soon. You're third in, in the queue, Ellen. Yes, I'm listening. I'm listening now. Let's exercise before we continue. Let's exercise. What would be if the third group wouldn't have come? Yeah, a person confessed and he said, yes, I stole. And then he confessed, Me'atzmo, Tavachti, Umachati. Yeah, I slaughtered. And then other Adim came and were and said that the first ones are wrong. So what's going to happen? We're going to say like this. He has to pay careful. Because his confession was not real. Yeah, his confession was not real, right? On the other hand, you can say, actually, I'm not sure, because Lamai said, they didn't know him, were Muslim, and that's how we ended. So Lechoyro, he doesn't pay Kefal, Lechon. I, he was Moide, and Misaibisai doesn't have to pay, true. Because the Adim, no, they were Muslim. They were Muslim, so they're wrong, so he doesn't have to pay Kefal. Sorry, I was wrong. Good, good, I was wrong, and I'm happy, right? And no, so no, they were Muslims, they have to pay him kefal. They have to pay him kefal, and that's about it. And now if he doesn't pay kefal, he doesn't pay shlosh of Arbo. And his oido is a good oido, because no Edim came later. What? Yeah, very good. Yes, Jeff, and then we'll continue. Oh, the Chiddush of Raisa, the Kula, both Sum Chosen Rabbonin is, that even though the Edim were Muslim at the end, but since at the time we believed them, that makes his first oido of Gonafti nothing, because he's replying to Aiden. We Then we're believed, and then we're passing by. So therefore, that first oido is zero. It's not class B, it's nothing. Says the Gemara, now the Gemara says no. Yeah, we are recorded, okay? The Gemara now rejects it. Sok the Heilige Gemara. Omar of Acha, Breder of Ika, line starts of order of Ika. Says of Acha, son of Rav Ika, Loi, no. We don't want to make the mechlokes depend on what we believed in all the time. 
We have a different way of learning the sugya. There's a small tweak in the story, a small change, which makes a big change. The kula alma, everyone agrees. Ah, oh, you can sigh, sigh of relief. Everybody agrees that hoido of tvicha only, if the hoido doesn't make him pay anything, because we know he's a thief, right? And all we know is that he's moide, that he owes extra two or extra three, that he shechted, that's not called hoido, if followed by real edim number three. Ela, so what is the machlokis here? The edus shei atayochol azima kamiflagi. That's where I ended up last. Ended up last week. The question is, we have over here an edus shei atayochol azima. Says the Gemara a few times in Sanhedrin, probably in Marcus also. I don't know. Edus which cannot be muzimable, <laughs> edus which you cannot be mazim is not an edus. I'll give you an example, which is a classical example. Let's say you ask the edim. Two edim are made in exactly the same case. Let's make it very, very ooh, cool. Murder case. Wow, wow, wow. Hmm. Yeah. Let's say two Adim are made. Exactly the same story, one like the other. Yeah. And what? And they just don't know exactly which year it was. They, they, they didn't ask them if it was a Tavshin Pei or Tavshin Pei Aleph. They say it was a bright Wednesday and it was a certain Chag. It was the same thing, same that. Everything was under the tree. And they know that the color of the leaves of the tree, you remember, like Martin Edin was bright yellow, everything the same, but not too suspicious. It's too much the same. It's not. And what? But we forgot to ask them which year. <laughs> they said Wednesday, yeah, 4th of July, <laughs> whatever, Havdala Diyar, whenever time. They, they know exactly the time, the hour, the circumstances exactly, the color, everything. But we didn't ask them what there are seven unit time units that they have to be tested on. Don't test me on that, whatever, the hour, the day, the week, the month, the, the, the Shemitah, the cycle of Shemitah. Yeah, whatever, Chule. But let's say they missed the year. So this Edus is not a good Edus. Why? Because they are being vague. Aye, but they're being very exact about all the details. This Edus, if you don't know which year, because they just didn't say. Now Edim will come, the Mezimim would come and say, <coughs> you say you saw the murderer last Wednesday or Wednesday in Chavdal Adiyar doing this and that, on Wednesday of Abdal year, you're with us in Tiberias. So they're going to say, uh, which year? Oh, you're Tafshin Pei. No, Mapitom. <laughs> what a sad mistake. Yeah, of course we're in Tver Tafshin Pei Wednesday, da da da. We meant Tafshin Pei Aleph. What a sorry. No, no, no. It's not a cute uh, TV drama over here. This is what? This is Sirius Edus. And if you're being vague about the time, you cannot be Muzam. Yeah, you have to be nailed down. Your Edus has to be potentially disprovable, so to speak, yeah, breakable. Otherwise, it's not an edus. Why? Well, I can see a svara because you have to be exact enough to be able to be mazim. Although Rashi in Sanhedrin brings psukim, he says the psukim speak about edus, also speak about hazomo. So edus has to be able to be potentially muzam. In edus, you cannot be mazim. And there are many examples, like the one over here, an edus which you cannot be mazim is nishka edus. Even though it may be right and everything flows very nicely, but if the edus for whichever reason cannot be muzam, and we're going to see a reason now, it's just not an edus. Now let's reread the brisa with a little tweak, cute little tweak over here. Keep going. It's now a whole new reading of the brisa. The Osu Sahadi, let's start from Bereshis. It starts the same. Group number one came one sunny morning. His life is being ruined now. The Om Relay, they tell to the man in Beisdin, Gonavta, you stole. Mister, you stole. They don't talk about Tvicho Mechira. You stole and you owe Kefal, Karen and Kefal. Gomer Lehu, and he told them, Gonavti, you're right. <laughs> Not only Gonavti, and I'm agreeing with you, but Tavachti I have to confess, I also Tavachti Mechati. That's by his own accord. He's being a man. He's Moide to the Tvicho Mechira. That they didn't talk about. Miu, however, I'm sorry, Mr. Ruben and Shimon. Lobby Fnechem Gonavti. I did not steal in front of you. Ella, listen carefully, spot the differences. Bifnei Ploini Ploini. I didn't steal in front of you, Ruben and Shimon. I stole in front of Yosef and Binyamin. Yosef and Binyamin were there when I stole, yeah, and I did everything else. And the Tvicho Mechira. Everything was done in front of Binyamin and Yosef, not in front of you, Ruben and Shimon. Vaisi from now on, everything seems to be the same, but there's a difference. Comes number two, group number two, they are mazimim. Isis Adiva Azminhu, and they were mazim them. You, Reuven and Shimon, you say that you saw the theft last Sunday on the Chemesh. I'm sorry. 
last Sunday in Bechemish, last Sunday you're with us in Bnei Brek, and not in Bechemish, so you guys are Muzam off the hook, off the story, off, not off the hook, actually, they're on the okay. hook, <laughs> they're not off the hook, off the charts, yeah, off the radar. The also ploy new ploy. He came the third group. Which third group? You know which third group? Binyo, very good, Bar Binyamin and Yosef. The same group that he admitted that he stole in front of. Well, what a happy ending. Nice. Also ploy new ploy. That's he do bay the gun of a tov They said, yes, we attest that what he said is right. He's hoido. Yeah, Taki is hoido. We are meid that his hoido was right. And he stole and tova chumochal. So now, what's the machloikis? Now, wait a second. We just said a second ago. Everyone agrees that he's a dog four and five of extra two, three is class B, right? He's not. Well, but one minute. Incriminating himself. Once. Incriminating himself? No. Now, those Adim are made. He should, be, he should, he should pay. Begadol, right? We said class B hoido followed by Adim. That's a formula. So Ilkhar has to pay. So why do Rabbanon say he doesn't have to pay? The, what do you say? What? Why can't he pay according to Rabbanon? So, who said that Binyamin and Yosef saw him stealing and killing and everything? Him. Therefore, they cannot be Muzam. Even if Adim would come now and say, you're with us in Akko, they cannot be Muslim. Why? The Abonon Sabri, Havil Edus Shiat Yachol Azima. This Edus cannot be Muslim because Edus Shiat Yachol Azima, Lo Havi Edus. Say Rabbanon like this. Even though these Edim may be lying, maybe now Edim will come and say, I'm sorry, Binyamin and Yosef. You people were, where? You were Bechal in Akko by the beach. You're not with us, separate beach, not with us in Bejemish. So, <clears throat> nevertheless, nevertheless, <laughs> Therefore, right? Therefore, therefore, wait a second. That's called Edus, which you cannot break. Why? Because the other side played to their side. In other words, one side was playing to the hands of the other side. When he came and he was Moide, the Binyamin and Yosef are right, then we believe Binyamin and Yosef. Why? Because it's based on Izoido. In other words, Edim's Doimit Mezimim can only work on the party of the defendant. If the defendant already admitted Binyamin and Yosef are right, then Binyamin and Yosef got his approval, and therefore it's a combination of Edus with Hoido. Such an Edus of Hoido that works, is the killer working against him, but by his words, they cannot be Muslim by others because it's a war. It's a black and white, cruel war. There's no parrot. There's no objective truth here. Maybe they're really in Akko. Maybe. But we're not going to listen to the people who are going to say they were in Akko. Why? Because once the side of the gun of, of the accused to be Ganav, admitted that those Edim are good Edim, that works better. Because Baruch Rin told us, Odos Badin Kemei Edim Dami. Oido is like super Edus. The Rajma says better than regular Edus. Plus Edus, it's Edus extra plus ultra. It's the best Edus, which cannot be Muzam, because they're working with the other side. Other side even he agrees. The defendant, which they're working against, agrees to them. That super done, super edus, such an edus cannot be Muslim. And therefore, Sarah Bonon, that, that edus is just not accepted, funnily enough. Uh -huh. The edus is so good, Kilu, it is not accepted because it cannot be Muslim. Therefore, the edus is off the chart. And I'm going back to our esteemed friend on the screen, Alan. What would happen, said Alan, if really the third edim wouldn't have come? Then what happens? Then we say that the hoido. Then what? Oh, then completely off the hook. Why? Because there is Hoido with no Adim that came later. So Kefal, the Zomim may have to pay. Lekul Alma. Kefal is the Zomim. Leave them alone. But the three extra or two extra extra sheep, then no. Because there's no later Edus, it's just his Hoido. The Zomim never spoke about it. Only Hoido. Hoido class B with nothing after that. The final verdict. He does not have to pay. And that's what Rabbanon say. He doesn't have to pay. What? Very good. By, by, by Knas. Right. The Sumchus Ova, Sumchus, says no. He got to pay the two and three. Why? Edus, uh -oh. Edus, even though the Edus is, you cannot be Mazim, it's a good Edus. I saw that. I almost fainted. The Gemara is fainting with me. Frag the Gemara. What? 
this is like a Kalal we said all over the place. Nobody argued in it. It's annoying. It's a really good thing. Huh? Like you deny Chas Shalom Hashem's existence. We know all over the place, Mufur Shabrais is Tanoim say that Edus, which he cannot be broken, is not an Edus. Everyone agrees you have to do the Chakiros, the seven Chakiros to know the time. Edus has to be able to be Muzam. Says Sumchus, calm down, I know that. Hani Mili says Sumchus, a very lomdish thing. I want to qualify that statement of Edus Shetachol Azima. You know when it's true? Hecha Delo Yadi, Beizayom, Beizashom. If the Edim don't know the day or the hour, they're missing one piece of information and therefore they're leaving themselves room to be Muslim. I don't remember the hour. Believe me, Bezdin, I'm an honest guy. I saw the murder exactly like his friend. He saw everything. But one says, uh, I don't remember the hour exactly. It was the afternoon. Uh, ta -ta. Uh, that's Edu Shetachol Azima. Because they know Edim Mezimim can come and say, two o'clock you're with us or six o'clock you're with us. They're going to play, ah, no, we meant something else. Not we meant. You have to be precise. The local edus klal, because edus which is vague is not an edus at all. It's so weak. Aval but this kind of edus is not a weak edus. Siu de kamisayle. On the contrary, <laughs> this edus they're helping the defendant. The defendant, or shall I call him accused, he admitted that Binyamin Yosef saw him. No, very good. Binyamin Yosef saw him. In other words, the fact that Binyamin Yosef saw him. That doesn't make it a bad edus. It's true that his oido is maybe above other things. So what? But it's not intrinsically a bad edus. It's a technicality that the other team is, how do you say, goal at me? The Kilo self, self goal. <laughs> yeah, in, 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 in football, I mean, in soccer. But said her, but Lamais, at the end of the day, that, that edus alone is not a weak edus. Edus is a good edus. They were grilled and tested and all the time, the hour, the second. And no, he, he, he's also my the, the other side, it's a good edus. It doesn't fall under the category of the bad edus shetachol azima. It's a technicality. It's not really a bad edus, says Sumchus, and therefore the edus is a good edus. So what's going to come out? According to Sumchus, what are we going to say? You have here, you have to pay everything. Now he's got to pay. What? The kefal, the edim zomim in pay. The edim zomim pay, he has to, but the edim pay also at the end of the day, the Edim Zomimim says Rashi will pay for him. But the extra two or three, he has to pay. Why does he have to pay? Because he had a class B Edus, Edus which did not self-incriminate. And afterwards, who came? The Edim who are good Edim. We do listen to them. That falls into the formula. In other words, according to the New Havana, it's very easy. Everyone agrees to the formula that class B Edus, eh, hoido, class B confession followed by Edus is not a good Edo, and he has to pay. The question is, was there Edus or wasn't there Edus? Chachomim say that's not an Edus because you can't be mazim them. One second. And Sumchu says, yes, that at the end of the day, by itself, it's not a lie. It's a good Edus as of itself. Just because he admitted to them, the more the better. He doesn't see that as a problem, as a war. Adorabe, it's a good Edus. If Melo says Sumchu, fine. Class B, Hoido, and afterwards Edus, the mister has to pay the Gansa uh, two and three, yeah, two and three. And the two, now, but the careful, everyone agrees that the careful, the enemy have to pay for both. No, they have to pay the careful anyways because Lamaista, they were Muslim by the second group. They have to pay anyways. No, they would have to pay anyway. The question does he have to pay? They have to pay him anyways. The question is what you're trying to say is that because Yosef and Milan came at the end and said that he stole, that's why he has to pay the owner. In other words, the train of Kefel for sure goes from the Adim to the Ganev. But does it all go from the Ganev to the, to the owner of the cow? That depends. If you listen to the last Adim, then yes. If the last Adim are good, that's, by the way, also a difference between Sumchot and Chachomim. The Fi Chachomim, the last Adim, and last Adim are not good Adim. So at the end of the day, he won't have to pay, right? The third, the third Adim, the third Adim of Fi Chachomim are Kilo not there. 
right? They're not there. The third, because they're not good eggs. So the third one, we know in Yosef, they are not there, because they are not good eggs. They are not there, because they are not good eggs. So Mimela, we remain with his oido for Kefel and Shlosh Rabo, so he doesn't have to pay anything, right? Because there is no Edim afterwards. And the Kefel, though, the Edim would have to pay him. They wanted to incriminate him on the wrong thing, for sure, yes. And the fee, one second, the fee sumchus, one second, the fee sumchus, then because the Edim are good, so he has to pay everything, the Ganev to the owner, but the Edim Zamimim would compensate him for the Kefal. That's always a story, because they're liars. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You okay for now? Oh, Mau Mau. However, now we still have a question as follows. Before we continue to the question, and we are in the penultimate line, with the one line before the end, let me just introduce you to an idea which I'm sure you know. Let's say a person anyhow has to pay a certain whatever, because Basin decided somebody has to pay X amount, for whichever reason, theft, gneva, evid, whatever, and what? And then Adim come and they're married, that he has to pay something we already know, <laughs> and then there moves them. Would, would we punish them? No, because Lamaisa, they're not trying to incriminate him specifically. Edim Zamimim are not being punished because they're bad boys and you lied. It's not Pinocchio's and you got a long nose. Edim Zamimim are punished because they really wanted to incriminate him and make him pay and gave us information which we didn't know before. Bang, bang, bang. Omar, Ma, now we come with the question. You people are holding very nicely in the studio, I can see by everyone. Let me ask you a question. How did this story begin? What's the very, very first line of the story? What was the opening line of the drama? Two came, and what did they say? Gone after. Very good. Very nice. Amalma. Hen Mishalmin Tashlume Kefel. We understood that according to Sumchus, and actually according to Chachamim also, they have to pay Tashlumei, that's plural Kefel, which sounds like what? They have to pay both Keren and Kefel. Yeah, they have to pay both Karen and Kefel. They have to pay both the, the, the capital and the Kefel. The old, let's say it's an ox that was shechted. There's five altogether, right? The last three is the Mechloek, Sumchut, and Chachamim. Leave that aside for now. Let's Dafka focus now on the first two, the capital, the Karen, and the Kefel. Do they have to pay both Karen and Kefel? Why? No. Midekamoide de Ganev, since he admitted that he stole, and he admitted it after they came, Karen by Shlumi. He has to pay Karen anyway. He has to pay the Karen. Explains Rashi. One second. Oh, one second. What would be if the Edim didn't come? Let's say the Edim wouldn't have come first, and he would be brought to base Din. One second, one second, one second. If he jumped before the Edim, he wants to tell the Edim, you Edim, filth him. You made me pay something I wouldn't have to pay. That's be something we wouldn't have to pay. Let's take off the chart. Imagine if there was a chart here, and we erase the first line when they said you stole. Let's say he would come to Beisdin and confess, I stole, and I shechted, and it, 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 it. then what would he have to pay anyway? Karen, beautiful. Very good. Karen, he'd have to pay anyways. So why do you say they have to pay the Karen? No, the Karen, he'd have to pay anyways, whether they came or not. They are the ones, he's angry with them. <gasps> you came before I came. If I would be first in the race to Beisdin, I would have admitted, and I would not have to pay Kefel and all the rest, right? And you guys came before me, you pieces of guh -guh -guh, and therefore you made me pay Kefel. You did not allow me to be moide beknas potu, give me the chance to admit before you came. But the Kevin, you'd have to pay anyways, because whichever side side of the story you begin, for sure afterwards, Adim came, third, second, and third, the Kevin, you'd have to pay anyways. So why do you have to say that they pay the Karen and the Kefel? Answers the Gemara, don't worry. You have to learn Tani Tashlum de Kefel, not Tashlume, Tashlum de Kefel. One Tashlum, only the Kefel. Let's summarize. Really, the Karen, he has to pay. The Karen, he has to pay whatsoever. The Karen, he has to pay Ben Mitzad Edim or Hido. Doesn't make a difference. Moide be Knas potu, but the Karen is not a Moide. The Knas, it's Moide be Mani. Like Baruch said, Odoz Baldin Kemaidim Dami. Basic money, which is not a fine, a knas, we say a person admits has to pay. So the Karen, who has to pay? The owner, no question. The kefel, meaning, let's say the bull was worth 1,000, to keep numbers simple for me. So the first 1,000, who has to pay? 
the thief. Moide, Shmoide, Edim, any way you look at it, the Karen has to be paid, yeah? Now the Kefel, who has to pay Lekule Alma, the second set of 1,000, who? The Edim. He has to pay the owner. Who does the Edim pay to? To the owner. To the owner. Because at the end of the day, we know he stole. So the Mai says, Shibuda Dorab Nosson, it's a train. He owes the Bailam, because the end, we know he's a thief from the third ones. Yeah, I'm talking now of Sumchus that it's a good edus. I mean Sumchus now. I mean Sumchus is a good edus, and therefore what he owes the bailim, but the edim owe him. Let's just make things quicker. Russia says Mishal min bishviloi. The edim cross the, the shortcut, and the edim pays straight to the owner. What about the extra three according to Sumchus of Tzvicha or Mechira? Because the edus is a good edus, Mimela, who has to pay the extra three? He has to pay. His oida was a class B oida. And therefore, such a dos followed by a good edus. Sumchus so thinks it's a good edus. Who's got to pay? He has to pay. So at the end of the day, he pays four and they pay one. He pays one, they pay the second unit, and then he pays the other three units. Yes, that's exactly the case. Yeah, he pays Karen and he pays the other, the last three. He gave a do, but a weak do followed by that Sumchus. Now, Rabonon, what do Rabonon say? The Karen who pays, he has to pay. Now, the Kefal and the Abba Misha, all extra three or four, at the end of the day, there was no Edus about it. There was no Edus about it. No Edus. So at the end of the day, only his Oido. So he's butter from everything. He's butter. Because he, yeah, because he gave us the Oido, right? Wait. There's one, another one, and another three. The basic can, according to the Chomim, He's got to pay. Now, the second one, he admitted it wasn't such a good Rido, right? But Lamai said they were incriminated. The Edim who said that, right? Right? So at the end of the day, the Edim have to pay him. The Edim have to pay him. They were Muzam. That did happen, right? Only the third group didn't come. So they have to pay the Ganev. They have to pay the Ganev because the Ganev, at the end of the day, it's true there was no Rido. Maybe he owes, but the Edim have to pay him, right? Now, the other two or three, the other two or three, according to Rabbanon, he doesn't have to pay. Why doesn't he have to pay? Because it was Moide and there were no Edim. Because all the Edim at the end, they erased them. The Edim who work for the favor of the wrong side are not Muslimable. It's Kilo, there's no Edim. No Edim. So only Hodos is there. Even we Koido, class B without Edim, is a good Hodo. And therefore, he doesn't have to pay it. Okay, so at the end of the day, he only has to pay one. And the Edim pay him the Kefal. And the other three, nothing. Oh, does he have to pay according to, to the owner, according to Chachamim? So the first was a Hido, but that Hido was not worth anything because he was really scared. So the Hido is not a Hido, so, so Mitzad that he should really pay the Kefal. I, the Edim, were in Muzam. I think that, I'm not sure actually in this point. In other words, for sure that there was no Edim afterwards to say that he really owes Kefal, right? So there was his oido, which may 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 yeah, made him a yeah. potter. But Lamai said this oido was only because he was scared of them. So I don't think it's a good oido. I think he has to pay the balim, and therefore the edim should pay the balim also. I think so. It's a train, like sumchus lechayron, because there's no edim that came again. So even though there was oido, but the oido is not a good oido. There's not a good oido. That's in sumchus. That's in sumchus. I would like to continue a little bit. So we're going into today's omud. Yeah. Yeah. We said in the Mishnah, let's just do two more minutes to, uh, into the... So the Mishnah said, if a person stole and then he was Makdish, and we think the Ganev was Makdish. How can the Ganev Makdish something to base a Mikdash? Consecrate, he said something, yeah? How can he consecrate it? Okay, I'm learning. Consecrate is the... Whatever, Lomash, and I dedicated it to base a Mikdash. Makdish, because... Oh, good. Good Yiddish Avort, yeah? And then... How can it be Makdish? Because it was Yush. After Yush, he can do Hekdash. And then what? And then he shechted it. So he said, I shechted something that's already belonging to Hekdash. Your potter from the extra two, three, from four and five. Amri. That's the question. I understand why Tvicha is not Chayev. The key Katovach, the Hekdash Katovach. When the Lamaisa shechted, it already belonged to Hekdash, did not belong to the owner. The Seder, mainly he was Makdish and shechted. It, the fact he shechted outside, inside, that's his own Avera. 
but he did not check something belonging to the person because he managed to get it out of the ownership of the original person, the owner, into the ownership of Hekdesh. So at that point, you can tell the owner, it's none of your business. The shechted, the shechted something belonging to Hekdesh, not to you. Beloy the Mari, Katovach. And he did not check something belonging to the Mar, to the owner. Very good. Ela, Shrek the Gemara, a Hekdesh Lechayev. Why didn't you be Mechayevim on the fact he was Makdish? Because what happened here? There was Yush, and then Shino Rashus into Hekdesh. Ah, I would say that's called selling. Says the Gemara, listen to the beautiful words. Let's say this thief would have come and sold it to Chaim Yankel Shmerl, yeah, for money, with Meshich Ragbo. What would be the aloha? You're digging deep into the sin. What? Now, not only you stole, you, you also sort of furthered in into the Gneva and you sold it on. Okay, so when he said, this is Hekdesh, what a from God, this is Koban Oila, you're doing the same. You're making it further away from the original owner. You sell it in inverted commas to Hashem through verbal Akdosho. Same thing. It says, Mechir Lehediot is like Amir Lehekdesh. Amir Lehekdesh, Mesir Lehediot, Dami. It's a famous line in a few late places. So why aren't you Chayev for the actual Hekdesh uh, itself? It's a sort of Mechira. It's a form of Mechira. Forget about the Shechting later. That alone, Mitzad Mochar, it's like your Meichel. Says the Gemara, answers the Gemara, no. Amani Rab Shimini, this is Rab Shimon. And he got this story completely wrong. What did Rab Shimon say? Yomar, Kochim Shechai Bachrayusan, Kochim which you Chayev in the as I told you many, many times. If a person says, Hare Alai Oilo, Alai, I owe an oiler to base a mikdash. I hereby obligate myself, Mikhaev, make a pledge to base a mikdash and oiler. Which oiler will I bring? Ah, oh, I have Baruch Hashem, 100 sheep and 50 cows and 30 goats. Which ones will decide later? But for sure, I owe an oiler to base a mikdash. This thief, you know what he did? What a cool guy. You know what he did? He stole a sheep. So he has a few sheep frolicking around in his backyard. And he originally says, I lie oiler. And then he picked whichever, you know which one he picked? Interestingly enough, the stolen one. Ah, look at the Gemara. A kochim that the person himself is re- responsible for. If I said, and one oil which I decided died, I have to bring another one instead. It's my life, in, and there, even if 10 of them died, I'll always have the chiyuv to bring an oil on my head. That's, okay, but he died, died, died. What are you going to do? He died. So now you owe a new one. Now, you need, uh, one second. Now, he decided out of the, ge- how will I how will I actualize, bring into fruition my general chiv that sits on my shoulders? Huh? How nice. My neighbor has a nice sheep. I'll steal it in the middle of the night. And then he said, that oil, which I'm already obligated, I'm going to actually put that obligation, yeah? and bring Mechiv into fruition, I'll actually actualize it through that. That is not called Mechira. Because he did not do Hekdesh, listen carefully, the existing Chiyuv Hekdesh he already has is being focused on that animal. So Mimela, it's not that he was Makdish it. He was Mekayim the Hekdesh through it. Mimela, that's not called a sale. It's not Chayv because of Mechira. Get it? He didn't sell it to Hekdesh. The general sale took place is only it's like a shop tells you online shop you bought one pair of scissors from alibaba express i don't know they don't owe you this one or that one whichever one they owe you one they have to give you one right that's what's going on over here it's not a new sale the sale was done already you paid online on the card that's it it's healed they have the receipt and mind this and not the other that's what's going on over here when the person actually mikhaim is healed through his neighbor's sheep it's a terrible thing but it's not called mechira He's not chayv for selling it because he didn't sell it on. On the other hand, if he shechted it afterwards, it's potul because at the end of the day, it belongs to Hekdesh now. He, put, he went through the back door. He made the, anim, the person's animal be Hekdesh without being Makdishit. And new. it's just a cum of the general chiyuv. So it's not called Mechira. But because at the end of the day, it's Hekdesh, the shechita he's potter on. He's potter on shechita. No, no. Ah, mitzvah babavera. We discussed that already. No, after yush. No, it was yush. That's another another question which we discussed before. Apparently not, according to this opinion. The Gemara only has one issue, and thank you for staying with me. And we'll remain here in suspense. 
Frank the Gemara, Habi the Sefer of Shimon, Habi Reish Alav of Shimon. The Gemara says it's a very nice answer. The problem is the Gemara, the, the mission at the end says, Rab Shimon Oimer, Kotchim Shchai Bachayusan. Mashma the Reish is not Rab Shimon. I cannot tell me the Sefer is Rab Shimon if Rab Shimon responds to anonymous Tana. So Mr. Tana Anonymous cannot be Rab Shimon. Ella must be something else. Da 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 da. I'm glad that we did Chazara today. What? Rav Shimon? No, that's a Shlakish. 